Good day! Welcome to Zelda Informer's Existential Gaming Roundtable. I'm your host for today, Matthew Swadensky. With me today I have... Colin McIsaac. Jared Ettinger. Jackson Murphy. And Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's Brian. So, um... Should we say, like, who we are and what we do? I'm yeah. sure everyone already knows who we are and what we do. Um, sure okay. Well, I'm a fairly new writer, joined about a month ago. First time I'm doing the ZI podcast, so I'm excited. I am a form moderator, and, well, that's pretty much it. I hijacked my way onto the staff. <laughs> Jack? I've been writing since around E3, and this is also my first podcast, so... I I was hired with uh, around with Jordy and Jared around E3 and yeah this is also my first podcast it's gonna be fun. I was hired around early March of this year. So great. Well, it, wait, is this everyone's first podcast here besides Matt? Yeah. I guess so. Wow. This is All my right. first, po- first podcast. Well, that's exciting. Okay, yeah. so I can't Next. wait for all the errors. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun to edit. Alright, so Matt, take us away to a magical oh, yeah. place full Today of dreams Today we will primarily wonder. be discussing the Wii U, our reactions, our impressions, and our desires for it. Is the gamepad an already tired gimmick? Are there no good games on the launch lineup? Will we have to wait two years for a decent game to come out for the Wii U? The uh, stick no. around and no. we'll find out. <laughs> In reality, though, we're basically just going to be circle jerking over the Wii U for about an hour. Woo! Yep. Yeah. Just sticking around. I get it. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <clears throat> you gotta introduce the topics. This is thing I scripted everything. Oh, okay. The Wii U has received much hype and boom, tons of negativity from the conference that was held in New York yesterday. But before we I get into there. that, let's. Talk about the Wii U itself. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's talk about the Wii U itself. What do you guys think? Yeah. It looks awesome. I'm hyped. I am too. I really am excited for this. Uh, you know, for the biggest reason that everyone is saying is because finally we're going to get all our favorite Nintendo things in full HD, and that's going to be really exciting. I'm, I'm back. back. I'm really hyped for it, but not for this, uh, not for the fact that it's going to be in HD, but yeah. because of the gamepad, it could really <laughs> free up the game from interface clutter, which many of the Zelda games have suffered from so far. I would not call it suffering at all. I really do not mind interface on the main TV. I'm very happy that a lot of this sort of thing is going to be brought down to the gamepad, but I really don't think that home console games in the past have had any issue with with an interface on the TV that really is, you know, detracts from what's going on. The N64 games have, like, an interface sandwich. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but you have to remember they were limited to a smaller screen. Yeah. But, I mean, again, like, I'm, I'm in the middle of playing Majora's Mask right now, and honestly, I don't see too much of a problem. Like it's, I it's know, right? oh, everything that's there either has big enough gaps between them or is trans sort of transparent, so you can see what's going on quite well. I really yeah, don't have a problem with it, but I do thing. understand why some people would, and I am also excited that that's going to be brought down to the gamepad. It's just going to give a nicer experience on the main TV. Yeah. Well, I, I'm like for Zelda, it's less about like the interface, the inventory on the touch screen. It could do some cool things with the items because the DS Zelda games. They're just, it, it's fun to use the items with that, at least for me, it's just not fun to control Link. Hmm. But I actually haven't played the uh, DS Zelda games, I played Ocarina of Time 3D, and I think what that did with the interface was awesome. That, that was I, good. It worked really well. So you have well. to admit, the top screen felt a little empty when compared to a 1064. It did, oh, but, bad, but bad, you bad have bad to thing. keep in mind that that's because the it's game was originally thing, meant to... It's not a bad thing, but I don't want my screen to look freaking empty. <laughs> right, but it's you have to keep in mind it's because just, uh, it was uh, keeping it was what? keeping um, everything my from... My only complaint with Ocarina of Time 3D was I couldn't see my hearts whenever I wanted to. Yeah, I think the hearts were in on that top screen. It's a small look down, but it's still not It wasn't really too much of a problem. It's right there. 
About the screen being empty, what you have to keep in mind is that the original game was made for Nintendo 64. It was made to look empty so that when all this, inven when all this uh, interface stuff is on the screen, you're not really missing much. And when they moved it down, then well, yeah. they didn't want to add a bunch of random stuff to the game for uh, the 3DS. But, you know, when they're making something specifically for the interface being on the gamepad, they're going to include a lot of extras on the TV screen to make it look you know, exciting, make you not want to just run around and find the next interesting place, you know? Yeah, I get that. But I think yeah. they could go the Skyward Sword route, and it's just like your item and your heart on the screen. The, di the default interface for Skyward Sword was awful. I'm talking about well, I just love the Skyward HUD, Sword, the rest so. of me on the touchscreen. What I really hated about Skyward Sword's interface was just item selection. The motion control often would, you know, would go way out of whack for me. Whenever I pressed B, it would go fly over to the next corner of the screen. And because it was real-time item selection, I couldn't, like, get it back and make it work in time to actually select yeah. the item before getting hit and then just not I, being happy. I didn't have that problem as much as you probably did, but if you could keep real-time item selection, but with the touch screen, there's just... No, exactly. I completely agree. I like real-time item selection, I just think that the, that the flaw in it with Skyward Sword was that because you had to do it with the motion control. And another big issue with it is that you can't calibrate the sensor bar. All you can choose is above TV or below TV. And I have, like, a tiny little TV, and so for the... It just, it's way out of whack either way. If I choose above, then it's... Then the... Uh, Thing goes way too far down, and if I choose below, then it goes still just like regularly too far down. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I had I have a decently sized TV that I play my Wii games on, and frankly, I had the exact same problem, mainly because of the motion controls would often get um, uh, uncalibrated. Yeah, it was great that Skyward Sword included press down to put the control back in the middle of the screen from where you were. Yeah. That was fantastic. I loved lot. that. And But I mean, it, with motion controls, it's hard to really get them perfect because, like, I live, I have a very well-lit room that I play video games in, and so, because it uses infrared, so guys, it's hard to do that. We you we guys! You, huh? <laughs> oh god. We got off topic. Of yeah, way off. Um, I was wondering yeah. when we get back on yeah. topic. Yeah, let's <laughs> about the Wii U guys. Alright, so Wii U, you, we got the gamepad and that's great. I'm yeah. I'm wondering, Jared and Brian, how big was the lag on the controller? That's an issue that a lot yeah. of people are always bringing there up. There wasn't any lag. Wasn't there was no lag. To me. Good. Well, that's good. I'm very glad for that. I I didn't expect that they would roll out a bunch of consoles that, you know, where their main feature is is flawed heavily. But right. you never know. It's always good to get like a first first hand opinion. Um, I I just like yeah. to state that that. We've just gone over the fourth topic in the first topic. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. What? Screw organization. Well, welcome to Zelda Informer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, uh, still hardware. Um, well, what else, what is there to say besides the gamepad? I mean... You've got all the I mean, processors and stuff, but the, the, nobody let's really talk about box art. understands box art. that. Let's talk about how bad the marketing for the Wii U is. Yeah. I think they're well, going to the ramp it up. the marketing hasn't started yet, so... Ex well, that's the problem. That's, that's just it. They should have started a while come out ago, and in November. Been advertising months, but you need, you need to inform people yeah. way before you release something. I, I yeah, do expect I, them to start marketing soon. They can't just... I, I, perfect, I expect them to as well. I, I'm really predicting... What their problem was... was a dreadful... A new console for a new you campaign? Oh god. Oh god. No, oh we, god. we would like to play. Yeah, we would like so to play was a that's great... What it should be. Yes. Like... That's actually... Oh my god. Either way, they're making puns off its name. Well, we yeah. would like to play in So, I will so Would You, you or something like that. Like, yeah, I think they that's already fine. did that one. It's true. But I think it'll help if they make it known that it's a new console. They, they really need to. Well, that, and that's I... going to be very tough. Yeah. I haven't really come across that many people at my college oh, I have. that have confused it with an add-on. I mean, like two people. So many people. Yeah, but the it's like the we stole a ton to soccer moms and grandmas, and and there I, are none I've of those at your I've college. I've talked to my mom about this, and she thinks it isn't a new console. So 
Everyone in my it. town thinks it's Nintendo's adaptation of the U Draw tablet. Yeah. It's which, just wow. it's a big problem that they have to address. And I think that 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 um, not selling gamepad separately was a perfect move to alleviate the confusion because you see on the box yeah. it's got the gamepad, but then it's also a new console. Yeah. I wonder how many people are going to, to purchase it and then open it on Christmas Day to find that there's another box in it. <laughs> Surprise, it's actually that. a new system. Well, I, I don't think a lot of people... You just bought a $250 tablet. I don't think a lot of people are going to uh, confuse it in the Christmas season, though, because it's going to be really yeah, tough I, to get. I, I the people who the really know what it is and like really want it are going to be the ones getting it. Wii U in the box right now. And like, he sees this new console and he just like puts it in the garage. Well, Nintendo's been having that problem a lot recently. Because, uh, well, I've met a few people, like, because I go to GameStop a lot, so there's been a few kids in there who wanted Super Mario 3D Land or Ocarina of Time 3D. For and their regular DS. It doesn't work. They only have a DS. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, 3DS and regular DS are... Like, this, this doesn't work. This game doesn't work. We want a refund. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. Before. And... Really, by keeping the same names as their old consoles and then just adding a number or a letter to it, that's the fundamental problem with it. Well, that's, if you add that a is number, the reason. Like to the end, that that if you add, if it was works. Nintendo it DS, well, actually, yeah. even with the DS, it wouldn't have worked because there were so many yeah, DS we, consoles. Yeah, we too. Already. There is no confusion. With we that. too would have been you, perfect. That is. It seems that is like hard. something yeah. else for we. But like, if they had called the 3DS like DS5. Everyone would think it's a regular DS just because there were already so many other names for the yeah. DS. Well, there are a lot of people who think it is a DS. I know, there are tons of them. And I'm saying yeah. by calling it the DS5, it wouldn't have been any different. There would probably yeah. actually be even more people who think it's just a new DS. But yeah. what name could they really go off of? It's built like a DS. It is built like a DS, but they could have called it something else. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying that... It, I mean, I'm I I'm not complaining about the name 3DS. I'm fine with that. I mean, you know, they had Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Micro. Well, the thing with those, like, the design was radically different. This it was. Is, the 3DS is not yeah. radically different. And I think that's another thing with Nintendo is that they're keeping it conservative now with their console designs. Each each new thing looks a lot like the old one. Like, I'm sure the Which Wii U branded yeah. Wii remotes will look exactly like Wii Well, yeah, there are, like, two consoles that are very similar, and then there's a big jump. Right, like, but it still looks similar. There was the 64 similar. and the GameCube, the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, and then they just jump to the next set of big differences. Yeah. Nintendo 64, etc. Right. Well, another, but another thing, like, about the 3DS is that the DS, the original DS, looked one specific way, and the DS Lite looked radically different. DSi didn't really look that much different, and the DSi was just, or the DSi XL was just a massive DSi. And then the 3DS, yeah, DSi DSi doesn't really, really what a 3DS looks like is a DSi, but with a wide screen. DS, DSi, DS Lite. Yeah. I wonder who names these. <laughs> I know. I don't know what. Hey, Shiggy, what we got? Well, what are you drinking? <laughs> a Bud Light. Oh, <laughs> DS Lite. <laughs> We'll call it the Nintendo DS Lite. <laughs> Why is this a Super Bowl commercial? Half the calories. <laughs> um, so, well, I guess, what do you guys think of the Pro Controller? Oh, it's it's pretty it's pretty awful. okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, it, it's the there. Boat. It's okay. It's not it like exists. something that's going to make or break it. I'm not excited. It's for turning I was talking it. to uh, this guy on DeviantArt, uh, Rice Spirit, he was also complaining about like a, whether or not he sh wants to play the Wii U because of the gamepad, right? Mm -hmm. I had to tell him about the Pro Controller, I'm not sure if he knew that, but they need to advertise the Pro Controller a lot more. If you don't want to use the gamepad, it is best to use the Pro Controller, it feels pretty I, good. Yeah. What happened to my voice? I don't know, it's sort of getting lower, yeah. but that's fine, I'm, I can still hear you just fine. Well, what I think yeah. the Pro Controller really is, it's exactly what everyone thinks it is. It's a way for them to say, look, if you don't like the gamepad, we also have this thing. But the problem with it is that they're not saying, look, we also have this thing. They're just like, Wii U, here's the gamepad, Wii! 
It, they they never they advertise a pro controller, the and they need to. Like next they to should. Game pad. They should. And during the press thing, they should have still been saying like, and you know, here's our pro controller. Look at this. And um, yeah, that's just a, another problem that they're having. And again, it's two months till release. I wouldn't be surprised if they did kick it up, a, kick it up a notch um, by November 18th. But it's definitely something that they need to do. Was there well, a the problem with the classic controller on the Wii? Uh, my only problem with the, cra the classic controller on the Wii was that the uh, control sticks were on the same axis, but it was hard to like really get them. Like the PS3 controller, for example, it has both control sticks down below, but I have no trouble reaching for the main control stick. Well, yeah, they were bigger. Right. But the classic controller, it's really I never bought a it's difficult controller. and it's awkward to use. And I don't think that the Wii U is going to be, that the Pro Controller is really going to be any different than that, except that the control sticks are up above the rest of the buttons. I don't like that I'm going to have to use the regular analog stick up above and then have to go down below for the face buttons. I think that's just as bad a decision as making the classic controller so awkward. It, 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 it's not a problem, actually, with the uh, control sticks up. It's not? I'm yeah, it's, it feels pretty natural. Uh, I was Even to have Rayman the face Legend buttons down below to reach for? Yeah, Rayman Legends, I played with it too, and it works. Huh. Yeah, it oh, works that's good pretty well. It doesn't, it doesn't feel awkward. It feels normal. That's good. That's definitely good. But then I used it... After I played it with Rayman Legends, I played it with Tekken Tag Tournament, and that just felt really off. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, I, I, just I had think a lot it of probably depends around a lot on the game. And it was... I don't know if it was the game's fault or the controller's fault, but there was something off about yeah. the controller. Guys, guys, let's... Let, let's get back topic. on topic. Yeah, let's move on to software, guys, because we're okay. there. So. All right, All software. Right. Yeah. So what is so, everyone most expe oh God, uh, excited for? Oh, God, my headphones? No, not good. We'll never let go, Matt. Okay. I'm actually just going to let go and let you sink down into the ocean and die. <laughs> let's face it, there is room for two on that piece of wood. I don't know. <laughs> not the point Jack, of this. We're not talking about Titanic. Drown. We're talking about don't Wii U. Don't be a little bitch. Um, <laughs> okay, software guys. What do you guys think about new Super Mario Bros. U? I think uh, it, it's going to change it looks up the series. What? It, it looks, looks really lazy. It I, really lazy I disagree. I, I don't think it looks lazy. It has I think, its ups and downs. I, I think that keeping new Super Mario Bros. as a franchise is lazy. The thing is that the yeah. biggest difference between New Super Mario Bros. and, you know, the original series of what Mario was, you know, Mario, Mario 2, 3, World, is that New Super Mario Bros. is a cash cow. I don't think they're putting yes. as much thought and oh, effort sure. and creative well, drive Mario into it. Well, Mario is a cash cow as, as a whole. But. It is, but the, like Mario Galaxy and like Galaxy, even Galaxy 2, when they just took Galaxy's engine and made different levels, both of them were still very creative titles, and I think by, you know, making four new Super Mario Bros. game, the first one, that was great, and the second I, one, I, Mario I Wii, like that was fine, you know, like, Wait, what's I, the fourth but by the time Super it gets Mario? to oh. two, and, 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 I, and I hated, I hated the second one in the same year. I like that one. I like the second one, but then again, that's because I don't really play two D Mario. Well, by the well, time they me, get to the second new, one, it was uh, more of two and that. you in the same my year. My little brother though. was always trying to kill me, so I just kind of got sick of the game. <laughs> Mm. Um, I think <laughs> that the co-op was just frustrating at times. Yeah, it, I, I don't think Mario is for co-op. That's just me. Well, I think with Mario U, though, um, one big improvement in the co-op is the asymmetric gameplay with uh, yes. oh, absolutely. the, the co-op speed mode, runs. I think that's going to be awesome. great. And boost mode, yeah, I, I, I think did that's good. Did you get good, to try the boost mode? I think... Jared, did you play? Yes, I did. Damn it, guys, this is topic four. The... Oh... Okay. This is software. This so, is topic two. We'll get to it later. Yeah. We'll get to it later. I'll save okay. my thoughts. But I, I think New Super Mario Bros. U. It, it looks different. It really does. Uh, I don't think it looks any different, really. I think they're taking more inspiration in the backgrounds, um, from Those New backgrounds Super Mario, or uh, from yeah. Super Mario World. But yeah. I don't think that the gameplay really looks. There are new modes, and that's great, but I think the core of what it is is exactly what New Super Mario Bros. has always been, and that's where I think 
That's where I think they're getting lazy. I think that right. New Super Mario they're Bros. Buying Squirrel Transformation. They should have just, just brought the cape back. Nothing new. Everything else is everything else is New Super Mario World. Like all those slanted rocks in the background and the the United World map. They should have just brought the cape back. I don't know why they yeah, didn't. Yeah, really. I want um, the cape. Okay. It's, it's the fourth entry in the new Super Mario Bros. series. Okay, so, so and Super Mario World was the fourth entry. But Mario Bros. regardless, I think that it's still. I think that Mario, new Super right. Mario, should be. So, um, I think the big problem with New Super Mario Bros. U is that it doesn't look very different from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It doesn't exactly show the difference between <clears throat> the Wii and the Wii U very well. Exactly. But, um, but boost mode. But. I think that the, really the only problem with New Super Mario Bros. as a series is that they're trying to be creative with something that's genuinely not creative instead of keeping New Super Mario Bros. separate as a cash cow that they just put out every year and then, and then putting the creative force into other Mario titles. I think that well, what they should do is divide them and make a clear distinction between New Super Mario Bros., which they can keep doing because... I mean, Nintendo's got a lot of money, but I'm sure they will always want more. And if the Wii U isn't a huge success, then they would need to rely on more Mario games to keep them afloat. But what well, really, like, they should be putting this creative effort that they're trying and failing to put into new Super Mario Bros. into separate Mario games, like Super Mario Bros. 4, or <laughs> another 3D title. And it doesn't look right now that like they're doing that. But... Like, the thing is also with the new Super Mario Bros. series, I don't think they're milking it as nearly as much as people say they are, because uh, Skyward Sword just came out last year, and people are already wanting a new Zelda, but they announced a new Super Mario Bros. game this year, and they're saying they're milking it. When they the announced last one two new Super Mario Bros. Years games. Ago. That's the difference, so, is that it's two new Super Mario Bros. games in the same year, and... You know, they're both new Super Mario Bros. You have to remember, Bros. though, not, not everyone has a 3DS, and not everyone is going yeah. to buy Wii U, so they're both target markets. So the not with, everyone will have yeah. both. The thing with 2, it look, New Super Mario Bros. 2, it looked like it was going to be a change in the formula. It was going to be something the, new, The really but sad thing is that... Was more of the same, the coin craziness. I know, and the really sad much. thing is that they clearly but, were yeah, they were working yeah. on it for two or three years, so clearly they were putting a lot of their best efforts into it, when realistically, they just moved the engine over and made it 3D and designed new levels. And so the sad thing to think about is that all that two years of thought, the result was coins. Just coins everywhere. Well, the, the, also with New Super Mario Bros. 2, the entire team was a bunch of juniors. They had never made a Mario game before, and all the senior developers. Oh, you know that's that's right. I I had so that's forgotten where I think about it's that. It's going to be a lot better than. No, you know, I completely and, agree and that, that Mario they could have just be a lot made better, both but... teams make a 3D platform or like Galaxy. Well, the 3D the 3D games are built by a different team, I think. Well, yeah, I'm just saying they could have combined teams. I'd also, awesome Wii U launch. I'd also like to state that 3D games don't sell marginally as well. Yeah. Because they, they need a juggernaut at launch, and New Super Mario Bros. is the juggernaut they need. But I think that by by everything they've done with New Super Mario Bros., that it's not nearly the juggernaut it was. I think, for example, if... If they had if they had a new title that looked as innovative as Super Mario Galaxy did, I think that would be a, look a lot better for Wii U than Super Mario Galaxy at launch would have for Wii. Or uh, not that Super Mario Galaxy at launch was for Wii, but I think I think that 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 a new 3D that a new innovative innovative uh, 3D Mario title at Wii U launch is would look better for them than New Super Mario Bros. U does. Except the casual gamer. Because likes to buy new Super Mario Bros. games, so that's true. Because how many people bought like the Wii version, like 24 million or something? An that's insane amount. That's a lot of. Cars. I believe that the the amount of people that bought new Super Mario Bros. Wii was twice the amount that bought both Mario Galaxy One and Two. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. the DS one is the best-selling game in the whole library. So. All right, well, it we makes, can't spend all this time it, just talking it, it about money. New Super Mario Bros. This is a Wii U podcast, so let's... Uh, I mean, there yeah. are tons of other games. There's Pikmin, there's Wonderful 101, 
There's Bayonetta 2. What do you guys... Let's let's talk about Pikmin for a little bit. Yeah. It looks like okay. Pikmin 2. I'm really excited for so Pikmin. I, Pikmin is one of my favorite GameCube games, and I can't wait for the third. I mean, I never really got into Pikmin. I can see the appeal, but... It's just not for me. What it is, is like, it's like a really weird RTS game, and I really like that. I've yet to play any Pikmin game. I'm just gonna I stay have been waiting eight years for a Pikmin sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that this is going to be worth it, though. To see yeah. the Pikmin world in 1080p, I mean, those graphics that we saw displayed in the trailer and everything, it's beautiful. It looks just brilliant. The first one and the second yeah. one really pushed the GameCube to its graphical limits, and I think that the third is really going to push the Wii U as well. And I, it, I'm just very excited. It's the colors and everything. It yeah. just looks incredible. I just want to say it would have been awesome if the entire game was in claymation. Claymation. Yeah, I I disagree. <laughs> I've seen that be done before, awesome. actually. It would that be really been cool. Amazing. It'd be like a really cool idea for a game. Well, no, the, no, the like cover the, of the everything second in the one was game claymation. Was just claymation. The first it would one be, was no, I mean, like it took forever to make, art. but it would be yeah. awesome. The cover art for Pikmin 2, though, had clay models, right? It was, and I think it that, I think that it's All a good right, way... That, that would actually be pretty cool. Eh, yeah. No, I, I think that the game looks better uh, without claymation, yeah. but I, I like the claymation on the covers and everything, and in the game's yeah. art, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'd yeah. actually like it in the game itself. I'm, who here has played uh, the port? Of Pikmin nope. 2 on the Wii. I've never played Pikmin, uh, so Jackson, get out. The first one. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick it up eventually. The listen, Wii version. Li no, what no. What about the original Pikmin? L listen, Jackson. Nope. If you haven't, con if you don't have anything to contribute other than I haven't played it for the second time, you're not supposed to talk. Oh. Aww. Aww. That really Aww. hits home. Get you a lollipop. Dude. That really hits home. <laughs> I'll get you a lollipop, Jackson. Thanks, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's my favorite. Okay. Though, anyway, yeah. back to Pikmin. Keep talking about Pikmin. I'll just go crawl into a corner until you guys are done. Yeah, go cry. I I did play Pikmin three though. Um, it's different, obviously, from Pikmin. Software 2 impressions is for later though. <laughs> um, another. Whether it's for better or worse, I didn't play it long enough to get an overall idea. I played it for like 10, 15 minutes. Right, but this is this is software impressions though. This is later. Um, I'm, I know. Again, <laughs> I'm just, I'm um, saying, but from what I saw, it looks really fun. That's it looks good. Like it, be, it, it looks really good. I love some of the changes I saw Stop. in the new Pikmin and how they're used. That's terrific. Um, so, what other sorts of games are you hoping will come to Wii U in the future? Everyone. Everyone. Uh, well, obviously Zelda, Metroid, all that good stuff. Right. Top of my list, yeah, Zelda, Metroid. I'm I'm also really looking forward to Fire Emblem. I think that on Wii U that's yeah. gonna and be incredible. Wii U? And uh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to I, see I'm that. sure they'll yeah. I'm sure they'll do it eventually. I it's just uh, probably gonna be a while. But still I think it's gonna look great and um, I'm really hoping for F Zero to make some sort of return yeah. beyond yeah. Nintendo yeah. Land. I I, I, I think that, it's perfectly um, suited for Wii U with the incredible frame rate and everything. So what we've done is yeah. On that. Okay, uh, so how about Sing Party, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I cannot no. wait for that. <laughs> Can't wait to play that. You know, yeah. actually, the trailer hey. for Sing Party at hey. E3 uh, uh, was the first you. time I'd ever heard Call Th Me Maybe. This is crazy. Um, so what do you guys think about the wonderful 101? I'm still tempted to call that Project P100. I know. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while for me to adjust, but it looks awesome. I, I think yeah. that I'm no That's more likely cool. to buy that than I am to buy Skylanders Giants. But I think it looks incredible. I think both of those games look fantastic, and I'd love to play them. But I think realistically, I'm just never going to end up actually getting around to getting them. Well, the wonderful 101, it looks like one of those games that would be vastly dropped in price after a couple months. Yeah, and, but I still think it's going to be an incredible game. I think that it's going to be a huge flop. But <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it's going to be bad. Uh, you know, because like, all my friends I've talked to about the Wii U have said... Project P100 or Wonderful 101 is the game that looks the best so far. Really? Really? It really does. Really? It I think awesome. so far Pikmin 3 and Rayman Legends look the best. Rayman Legends. I haven't yeah. played Origins actually, and I should before, and I'm going to before I get Legends. But I still think that it's that for those who have played Origins, it's going to be 
it's going to blow so many titles yeah. out of the water. I think platforming, actually, I think that looks like the better game out of um, Rayman and Mario U. Legends is pretty good. I'll give you that. And 007 yeah, Legends, like guys, actually, no. speaking of Legends, uh, that was a big surprise at, uh, that they showed off in New York. What do you guys, any of you guys uh, excited for 007 Legends? Uh, I'm more excited for Bayonetta 2. Me I too. have never played the original. A lot of people Bayonetta, aren't. So. Unfortunately. Right. Yes, a lot of people, are, people have been sending death threats to Platinum Games. How could you say we that? Boycotting the Wii U. Nintendo is the one publishing this game, right? And Nintendo is publishing this game. Dude, not Wii U. Too loud. Uh, no, Nintendo is publishing the game, so it's never yeah, going to be so ported. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even exist if Nintendo hadn't funded it. These it's, people are idiots. Yeah. So people don't get it. So there's no way it's ever going to come to another system, and it's not Platinum's fault. <laughs> they should be happy that they're getting Bayonetta 2 in the first place. Um, that said, I think Bayonetta 2 could be a huge um, thing. You know, Michael Pachter has actually said that that Bayonetta fans oh will God. buy a, U, a Wii U just for Bayonetta. Uh, well, everything Michael Pachter says turns voice. out to be false. So. That's not true at all. <laughs> He supported. He thought the Wii, the Vita was going to be a huge success, and that <laughs> it didn't, is not true didn't at all. Yeah, the was going but to be a lot of what he says yeah, actually true. does end up being right. I respect him very much, and I think he gets a lot of crap that he does not deserve. I think that he I is constantly. I think that he is it's constantly. Really, he really uh, gets crap because of the fan base. And it really is, is and fun. it's, and but, everything he says, and even when he explains himself, it's perfectly logical. But yeah. people don't well, yeah, want logical. to listen to logic. They just want to listen to what his final verdict is and then say, no, you're wrong. I disagree with you, and that makes you wrong, and I'm going to hate you for it. Except he's wrong a lot. He's a right lot when it far comes more to often. Wii. When it comes to the Wii U, when, when it comes to Nintendo, he's, he's often wrong. wrong. But also he often He was goes right back about E3 being boring, but that's was, about it. That's as very far true. As I know. But you know, he he's recently gone back and said, I think the Wii U is gonna be a huge success, and that's proven to be true. GameStop has already sold yeah. out of the deluxe bundle and their well, basic. Did they bundle sell out or they, are they just purposely limiting supply? Um I heard they sold out. Um I've heard oh, both, but wow. it's also been reported by a lot of people that it's actually sold out. And I got um, the last oh. one, yeah. It didn't like, have exactly. anymore when I went to pre-order. I don't right. have a Wii U yet, guys. So, at, so the deluxe <laughs> bundle is already mine. sold out now from I the pre-orders, and much. basic pre-orders are dwindling fast. So he's right <laughs> now that the Wii U is going to be a success, and but it does go back on what he said in the past, and but he was what changed his mind wasn't that he saw. GameStop's pre-orders, and then he was like, oh, better change my mind. He saw Nintendo's press event on the 13th and realized they know what they're doing. They've, they've got this all planned out, and they're doing a good job of it. And then he turned out to be right when, as evidenced yeah. by the pre-orders coming in so fast. Uh-huh. Coming in. Yeah. Word. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I I, I'm, I was considering buying three Wii U's and then selling two on eBay. That what? is not a bad idea. <laughs> I, I have a cousin who did exactly that for the Wii, and he sold them on eBay for about $500. And people wow. I'm doing that wow. next time Smokes. Nintendo releases a system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see that a lot on eBay when a new console launches. Yeah. I know, because the Wii wasn't... Oh my god. The Wii was sold How out for a long time. How long were Wii time. orders, like, back-ordered? They were... Maybe like a two year? years, something like that. Yeah, That's I had to buy crazy. one on eBay for like three hundred bucks. Anyway, though, um, what do you guys think about Lego City Undercover? That looks oh fun. God. It looks. I don't know. It looks like so a lot good. of fun. It, I, I like Lego games. Generally, don't like Nintendo games, but there's something about this game. It Wait, speaks to did you me. say? I think. Right, you just said Nintendo, Nintendo games. games. You, you said Nintendo games. You mean Lego, Lego games, games, right? Did I say Nintendo? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I meant Lego. Why would it, it's a Nintendo discussion? Right. I'm They're yeah. commenting as, as you speak right now, Brian. Um, but no, what? I think Lego City Undercover looks great. I'm probably again not gonna end up buying it, but it looks really fun. I would like it. Yeah. And uh, Ninja right. Gaiden. We got Project Cars. 
It looks like it's filled with so much childhood wonder and fun. It does. It looks like it's gonna be just so... It looks like it's just gonna be funny. Honestly. Like, you're gonna yeah. buy it, and you're gonna feel like a little kid that. again. Right. They have the Ocarina of Time get an item sound effect in it. Really? Yeah, and the, and the Mario awesome. pipe. That's great. That's well, it's being published by Nintendo, so they have the yeah. rights to it. Um, what do you guys think of... Um... Oh, shoot. I had it. Like, right in my mind. Oh, well. Right in my mouth. Right zombie, right. You? Yeah. Uh, zombie you? Sure, zombie you. That wasn't it. It looks but fun. I'm... That. I'm... Yeah, I'm... Spec no. Yeah. Not zombie you. I, I just it like to, to go out like and say idea. that it looks completely unappealing and, and I don't like it. like it Absolutely. Been executed well. I, I, I was looking forward more to Killer Freaks. I was looking yeah. I was looking forward well, to Zombie U a lot more. The survival hey, horror idea. Right I have the apocalypse. But Killer Freaks is not a in both of them, so. It's the red steel of the Wii U. Zombie yeah, I don't exactly. It's a so then you're gonna it's tell me that right Zombie U2 is were gonna were blow fun. my mind. Was, was Red it, Steel bad? I've heard good things about the, Red Steel. The first Red, Red Steel got the second one's good. Oh, uh, maybe I've just been hearing good things about Red Steel 2 though. I I have I have a bunch of games that I bought because I found you. Oh, I have Red Steel the original. Don't play it. <laughs> really? Right, ship it to oh, my shoot. house. I'll tell you if it's bad or good, and whether or not I'll ship it back. <laughs> Um, well, anyway, um... Because they were showing it off, like, the big hardcore title, and it wasn't good. That's That's too bad. So, um, wasn't that also a Ubisoft game? Yeah, it was also yeah. Ubisoft, oh, so... Oh, no. History oh, repeats itself. No. Oh, here we go! You know what I'm very angry about? Sonic and All-Stars what? Racing Transform. I it love the first amazing. game. amazing. I played that it. That game looks I mean, amazing. I'm going to save this for four, but it's all coming I want to I loved it. No, the thing is, it's coming out November 20th. Day I pre-ordered it, and it's coming out the two days after the Wii. That I'm just so angry about that. Oh, that's like two days after is the gonna Wii U, kill you. Sorry. Yeah, you're it's gonna have to go. go. And to I'm going to be gone wins. the next weekend. But Nintendo Land. Just, what's the problem with releasing Nintendo it two days Land. before at launch? Nintendo Land. I pre-ordered mine online, so I don't get it. So Nintendo it Land nice. looks incredible. <laughs> and I'm very excited for Nintendo Land. Yeah, let's talk about Nintendo Land. It has huge potential. Huge Jared, potential. which I agree. ones did you play again? Let's see, I played a bunch. I played the Mario Chase, I played Pikmin Battle, I played Balloon Fight, I played Metroid Battle, and is there anything else? There's, um, I believe that was it. There's the Ninja the Star balloon? Throwing game. Did you play that? Oh yeah. Which one? Takamaru's Ninja, Ninja Castle. Star oh no, game. no, they didn't have that. Oh, that's too bad. Aww. <laughs> I didn't play it. I saw a bunch of people play it though, and it looked okay. Um, I got to play Battle Quest. It looks man. quite fun. Battle Quest. How's that? And... I am envious. Yeah, Battle How Quest that, and uh, Metroid Blast so far look like the best games. But we've also got. Oh, oh no, it wasn't. We also have a. But no, I'll get to that later. Battle Quest or Metroid Blast? Metroid Blast was it wasn't. not good. No, oh, that's too bad. Oh. Um, How was the balloon fighter ga balloon fight game? That was a lot of fun. I really had a blast with that. Good. Is it, just, it has. Is it just balloon fight, or? Um, kind of. I mean, balloon it's balloon fight, trick. I mean, it's not I balloon fight. I haven't played in a long time. It was just joust with balloons, right? No, balloon tr balloon trip is different from balloon fight. The original NES game is called balloon fight, but there's a mode in it called balloon yeah. trip, where you're just avoiding objects yeah. and flying with your balloons. That's what Balloon Trip Breeze in Nintendo Land is. It's not the original yeah. balloon fight where you have other fighters and try to pop their balloons. It's you trying to avoid spikes and fish, etc. Um, while you're going on an eternal sort of plane um, forward and you're basically just trying to see how far you can get. That's what Balloon That's Trip what Breeze in Nintendo Land is. People often think it's going to be a fighting game because of Balloon Fight, but it's Balloon Trip Breeze, not Balloon Fight Breeze. Balloon Fight sounds like it'd be such a lame fighting game. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'll, I'll the they should make a fighting game based balloon on Balloon puppy. Fight. I, I, I want a gritty Balloon Fight reboot, guy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they were adorable, but they're bad. Like you, you shoot down enemies, you shoot their balloons. 
There are a few more um, attractions though that were not show that were not playable on like any sort of floor. They've got uh, Animal Crossing Sweet Day. There's Yoshi's Fruit Cart, Octopus Dance, um, and I think one more. Um, but I'm wrong. Dance. What's all the Octopus others? Dance? Octopus Dance is based on the Octopus Game and Watch game. And I don't know oh, what it is. Yeah. Oh, Yoshi's yeah. Fruit Cart and Octopus. Really, oh, Captain Falcon's really Twister Race. Rated R. <laughs> Twister Race. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it really does. Like, I'm just going to play it, and in the middle of the game, a schoolgirl pops up. Tentacles oh, everywhere. <laughs> and But anyway, uh, Captain Falcon's Twister Race, Yoshi's Fruit Cart, and Octopus Dance. We know nothing about these besides the franchises that they're based on. And I think that at least Captain Falcon's Twister Race is pretty exciting right. just because it's F-Zero and we haven't heard anything of F-Zero in a long time. The most recent F-Zero anything we got were just trophies in Smash Bros. Brawl. Wait, are, are there no, embargo lines cares on about this? That. Are there what? Embargo lines? Don't know what that is. Because uh, uh, they didn't announce F-Zero yet, did they? Yeah. Uh, no, they have not announced any F-Zero. No, there's no F-Zero confirmed for anything at all. Oh, the, the well, no, they confirmed an F Zero minigame, but yeah, oh, yeah. they haven't no, revealed there it is. yet. It's Captain Falcon's Twister Race, is what it's called. Um, they showed and you it can off. see they. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. Wait. No, they didn't. I? They did. No, did they? No, they, they showed off all the and attractions and the icons, and you could tell there were the 12 attractions, you could tell what franchises they were based on, just given the icons, but d they didn't actually show Captain Falcon's Twister Race. Did they? They, they did it Really? That was but that was it. Okay, well, I'm wrong. I don't know. So how? But how's also, I think there is huge potential in Nintendo Land for DLC. I agree, completely agree. They can make new uh, attractions and then download them, and yeah. it's what it else be great. Are we gonna get I mean, for Nintendo Land? well, they've got. You we're, could have Golden Sun. Get, you could have uh, something involving Rob. You've got the Bayonetta theme park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bayonetta, Bayonetta for Super Smash Brothers Four, guys. Nah. Um, but but you know, okay. Golden they're coming for mother, you. Mother, you've got uh, something involving Rob. You've got there's no Pokemon What's stuff here. Nothing here? involving Kirby in Nintendo Land. No, there's a lot of the stuff that they could do. Drug smuggling ring, are you? Open the yeah, door. Yeah, there are a lot of police signs. I'm gonna <laughs> show it to you. Open the door. What's next? Um, uh, that's what else really is there? about it for... How about all those games oh, that they're kind of porting over? Darksiders 2, Assassin's Creed 3... I hate like the fact that the majority of the third-party lineup for it's the ports. Wii U is just ports of games that everyone already owns. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's everyone. good It's good in a sense that if you don't already own I, them, you can get I the Wii U version and it'll be better. That. <laughs> for example, I've never You're played Arkham right City, now, and frankly, I'm probably not going to, but if I do, it will be the Wii U version, because it's clearly so much better. But it's not That's something that, that will, it's not so, enough to spark interest in the console. What's good, for example, is Black Ops 2, which isn't out yet. Nobody has it. And so when it comes that, out, then people will have will the option of getting Wii U. Before the Wii U launches. Will it? That will be out before the Wii U launches. I, I thought think. it came out on the 30th. No, it comes out on oh, the 8th. November 13th. It's not 12 days before it launches, it's I think. For, it's on the 13th, not the 8th. Oh, it is? Yeah. Seven days then. Um, no, no, you're right though. With something like Call of Duty, though, yeah. it, nobody's gonna get it for the Wii U, even just because of that one week. I think some people will. Yeah. Okay, obviously Especially some people, people will, but it will be Christmas nothing like the PlayStation or, or Xbox nine. copies sold. Yeah. Because Black Ops is like, that's still in the top 20, 10, I think. Right. You know Actually, what we got? Black you know, guys, Actually, we've completed. Call of Duty game might do better. On the Wii U. I'm not so Parents sure. Parents will buy their kids uh, the Wii U. The whole it's idea and that there are little kids boys, playing Call of Duty, though, that's just them. disgusting. Call of Duty. That is like the epitome of I what I hate in the game industry. I, I don't like Call of Duty at all. I hate I, Call of Duty thought, just because there are little kids who play it. Just this. because there are parents who say, yeah, you can have this. But that's not... What we're talking, you know what, what games we've completely ignored here? Epic Mickey 2, Game and Wario. Um, yeah. We've got um, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, Rabbids Land, but Rabbids, you know. Yeah, Rabbids. No. <laughs> There's Scribble Knots. 
I'd just like to say that we barely know anything about a lot of those games. It's true. And yeah. Well, Monster Hunter is just a port of Monster Hunter Tri by um, HD. Game like, Wario. It's clear that that's going to be another WarioWare title, though. Um, yeah. WarioWare would work really well with the gamepad. Uh -huh. Yeah. I. Also, yeah, it would. But I mean, sure. it's, it's not really going to be any different than it was on the DS. Wario they did not. They Game and Wario has Wario. been very they had it where I was. under wraps. It doesn't really seem like an all too interesting game. I pretty much looked at it and was like, no, no, it's no, no, no. It's just another WarioWare no. game. WarioWare has just not really been interesting lately. The first few were great, but yeah. by the time it got later, it's just more of the same. And they have these new gimmicks, but that's all they are. It's gimmicks. Yeah. Like DIY, that actually had huge potential, but all it was was you making your own games. There were like five mini games that you could play, not on your own. If it was like a full WarioWare title, and then it also had a DIY section, that would be fantastic. Yeah. You actually played Wario. <laughs> I like the Game Boy Advance one. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Is that the one that came on the Ambassador for 3DS? Yeah. I'll have to try it. I only played a bit of it. Um, it's the very first WarioWare game, and it was a good way to start. What I like best about WarioWare really is the characters. I think the characters really drive the game, not the mini games. It's fun just yeah. to see these guys, you know, interacting with each other, like quirky. Dribble and Spitz and Doctor Krygor. I always love seeing what crazy new thing he's up to. And it's never anything really like, it's never like a plot or anything, but it's just kind of fun, you know. It's never anything that would make me buy the game, but it's like when I do buy the game, it's nice to see. So I kind of want to jump back here, oh, oh, back to the hardware, because mm -hmm. Nintendo revealed something called Nintendo TV. Nintendo the TV, UI. very interesting. Would that really be software? It's yeah, it's new software, uh, so it, it's it counts. But it's 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 a it's a part of the core experience of Wii U. It's, it's like software, but it's integrated so closely to the hard hardware. Program. Nintendo it TV, awesome. though, is so interesting because it's not just a system on which you can watch something from Hulu and then you can go over to Netflix and watch something. You watch it all on Nintendo TV. The difference is it draws these videos from different sources. It's not that you use it and then go to a different medium. It's that it's all right there on that one medium. It's, it's there. Yeah. If you log in on you know Netflix and Hulu and Amazon and TiVo and set it up with your Wii U, you've got it all right on the Wii U. It's not that you have to, like on the PlayStation, if you go, if you have Hulu Plus and Netflix installed, there are two different app, like, applications that you have to go to to see what's up. But on Nintendo TV, it's all right there. The gamepad uses it really well. Yeah, the gamepad is great. And what is, what I initially thought was kind of, lame but you know it was there was the whole you know keeping up with the moments on what's happening you know uh how yeah. it updates you on what's going on and you can share it on facebook and you t can take part of polls i originally thought whatever but then i realized the casual market is going to eat it up so quickly yeah. they're going to love it there are a lot of people out there who like update their Facebook statuses based on what's happening in the right. football game. Or like my mom, game. for example, if and she had that, well, yeah, if she had a Wii U to watch on Downton Abbey on, she would be in heaven. Yeah. That's, oh, I'm having this talk over lunch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I look at this. This just happened on Modern Family. I want a photo of it. There was a guy who actually did that on my Facebook feed. He took a giant and he uploaded it. Look and he was it. holding it in his hand. Oh! What the hell? And, so, and this one Perfect guy commented, you like, guys. why are you holding that in your hand? And he's like, because it's fucking huge. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> need a lot of toilet paper. This All is right. a Nintendo chat, guys. So we've we've exhausted the software chat, really. Um, are there, there any other games, games that no, we're kind of missing? No, that, that's about it. Uh, any, Getting to no, Game no, Wario, no. that was sort of uh, like the bottom of the barrel. Epic Mickey 2? Uh, oh, that's right. I mentioned Epic Mickey 2, but we never actually discussed it. I'm excited for that. Um, yeah. I still need to go and finish the first Epic Mickey. Um, I didn't first finish the it, first. 
So the far first beyond one was mediocre, so I'm not sure how much I'm looking forward to the second so one. So far beyond co op play, it doesn't look one. very different. different. Topic, yeah, but the 3DS one actually I'm looking forward to as well because it's a 2D thing and it's very yeah. different from the original Epic Mickey. So that's it's nice. So, what games is everyone anticipating? We already talked about Fire Emblem and a new F Zero game. Mario Paint. Oh, that would be a lot of fun. That's a yeah. that's a, you know that's a really good uh, point. Um, one thing that I'm really hoping for is another Beautiful Joe game. I loved Beautiful yeah. Joe on GameCube, and I really I hope that they have a Wii U Beautiful Joe three. Could be really the, cool. The, the thing is that the person who made Beautiful Joe is now working Not on platinum. platinum and oh, really? Capcom oh, think, owns I the rights to Beautiful Joe. I knew that there was some sort I of I mean uh, Capcom problem made with a new Joe. Okami after Clover got disbanded, so it's within the realm of possibility. But it's probably not going to be anywhere near Speaking of which, it's Okami just not, on Wii U. It was Hideki Kamiya, right? And you know, actually, that that makes sense. Wonderful 101 looks like it, a lot of the character yeah. designs took inspiration from the same sort of thing that Beautiful Joe did. Um, yeah. It is Hideki Kamiya. Yeah. Well, still... Just like why Bayonetta kind of looks like Devil May Cry, Hideki Kamiya. I can still uh, get my hopes up. <laughs> um, what other sort of stuff do you guys hope for? Um, Star Fox Robin. Adventures 2. Oh, that would Star be fun. Fox. Star Fox, I think, would be Star great Fox as a whole. on uh, Wii U. I want Star Fox. I want Star Fox Adventures 2. Adventures. I don't care how much the fan base was this. I love it. Camelot had talked about bringing back Donkey Kong 64, and I want to see that. Donkey Kong 64 would be very great. Um, uh, what I want to see is a game that takes full advantage of the gamepad, not for gyroscope gimmicks or some other bullshit yeah. like Zombie U is doing right now, but to show how you can make a traditional game without destroying a formula, just with how convenient item selection would be on the gamepad. That's Zelda, that's Darksiders. Yeah, that's Zelda that's, right there. Right, yeah. I was going to say That's Pikmin, okay. that's... And there Zelda are a lot of things like that like Zelda 3D game now. for the gamepad. Because you can just put the everything onto the gamepad and it'll be a constant view and you don't have to pause the game or anything in order right. to do it or initiate right. some sort of pop-up menu in order to switch your items. You know, there's all this talk about Majora's Mask 3D. I don't care about that. I want to see Majora's Mask on Wii U. I think that'd be incredible. That, th that fan-made trailer is so really much more exciting than Majora's Mask 3D. I, look, yeah. In HD, the world of Termina, it's very different from the other Zelda worlds and <laughs> it would look incredible. You see, you, I'm sure all of you saw that hoax trailer that was came around yeah. E3 time. Uh, yeah, that, that looked was great. Nice. That was that incredible. Was, I, was I knew it was so fake. Much that was real. It was. It was. I think we I was all praying. Were everyone in. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was incredible. That was like the perfect visual style for that game. It really was. Yes, and it was. It just blew me away, and I something like that is what I want from a Joe's mask. I would rather wait. 10 years and get something like that for Majora's Mask, then wait one year and get Majora's Mask on 3DS. True. Because um, <laughs> you could just play the N64 version over and over again. Yeah, but it's nothing like an HD Majora's Mask with that yeah. type of graphical caliber. And then you just throw the inventory on the gamepad. Yeah, and, and then That'd be awesome. it's great. Especially for, max, for map the selection, you can, do, uh, like, you can do L and R to just switch between masks and regular items and like the map or whatever plus you can what just have on? yeah i can't I hear you I, heard, oh God. I, I can't hear paper. it's like you're fading out and then it sounds like someone's masturbating <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just I hear like too. someone fade out and then i feel like <laughs> uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> well interesting <laughs> people are going to complain if there's no camera control that's what? why we have the right thumb. Oh yeah, that's why you have the second stick. The L and R buttons You're are right. fine yeah. for just right. using the items. Because all you need to do to switch the screens on the touch screen is just slide your finger. Yeah, that's true. Boom. That's true. Yeah, camera control is a is a big problem. But yeah. Although it's not unlike Zelda games in the past have not had any good camera control. There still hasn't been one that, you know, really takes advantage of Manipulating the camera. Wind Waker I, did that. It's been, you're right. Wind Waker did, but 
you know, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, the whole time I played it, I was just so angry that I couldn't use the C button and, or hold the C button and just move the nunchucks control stick to change the camera angle. This it was really a pain. The GameCube version. It's, yeah, the yeah. GameCube had Oh, one. did it? Oh, that's good. Well, uh, well also the thing is with uh, Super Mario Sunshine, my memory's a little fuzzy, but uh, you had free control of the camera in that game, right? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, and that provided a few issues. At least for me. Well, actually, it was more of a it's problem than with no the control, camera though. resetting itself, which caused you to miss some jumps. Yeah. I think camera is just something that really nobody's Nintendo. ever going to find a great solution. Yeah. Um, okay. No, you're right about the camera, though, for uh, Zelda, and you can slide between the two item screens. Still, point is, you got the masks on one item screen and then everything else on the other item screen, and switch between the two somehow. And then you could do like a cool AR thing where you get to wear the mask. <laughs> oh god, no! Oh, god. <laughs> you know Nintendo would go for that. You know they would. They totally would, and it would be awesome. It'd be like the zombie you zombify yourself thing. Goron like your... by yourself. Zorify yeah. yourself. Yeah. That would be really yourself. awesome. I want to be a Zora. But I think they would cut fierce deity to find yourself out. Yeah. Place, you have, you have to beat the game in order to do that. No, you just never get to do it because you're not a badass. <laughs> um, anyway, though, back back to the topic on hand. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. Other Wii U games. Do any of you guys uh, have anything in particular that you're really, like, dying to see uh, happen or dying to see come back, even? I think some Metroid would be cool. Yeah. I could use the game gamepad well. Uh, a 2D Metroid also, I think, would be a lot of fun. We haven't seen one of those yeah. like really in proper form in a while since Metroid Fusion, actually. Since and I think yeah. uh, I think it would be a refreshing um, take on the series again to go back to that instead of to have another Prime style one. I love like the the whole Prime style, but it would be nice to have another 2D one, you know. You know, you know, you know what we yeah. need on the Wii U. What? Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal I, Gear. I, I yes, please. <laughs> Otacon. Yeah. <laughs> Kojima came Otacon. up. Otacon. Otacon. If they could put Metal Gear on the Wii U, that's just insta-buy. Especially me. Ground Zero. Even though I'm already buying it. Zeroes. <laughs> you know Ground what zeros. I'm just very disappointed will never ever happen? Is Final Fantasy VII Remake on the Wii U. And it will never happen. Uh, Square recently I I, said... I don't really think it needs goal. to be remade. Great. It's not that what big we of a need, deal. What we need is Final Fantasy VIII Remake. What, what That's need, not going to sell Final anywhere Fantasy near as well. Six. What they would do... What no, they would do I don't want remakes. Final Fantasy remakes because they'll just ruin it in one way or another. It won't be the Final Fantasy game It'll that It'll be we better than Final Fantasy XIII. They three. remade Ocarina of Time and we loved it. Yeah, I mean, That's that because was, it was that Nintendo. This isn't, so this well. isn't Square we're talking about. Squ Square's Square, awful. I think Square yeah, remade Lucas Final Fantasy III games. and IV just fine on the DS. Have you played the Final Fantasy VII spinoffs? They're spinoffs. Those aren't remakes. I had no problem with uh, Crisis 4. All they need to do is take the story of the old one and just slap some new graphics on it, and you're good to go. Keep the story. Do the Final the Fantasy XIII versus combat. But it's it's never going to happen though, because Square recently, I don't remember when, and I obviously this is Skype, so I don't have the source. Um, but they said that they're never going to remake Final Fantasy VII until they make a game, an original game that was better than Final Fantasy VII. And, and knowing the Square, fans, they'll never in, say anything better than seven. Yeah, and right. and in its current state, Square is not going to do anything better than um, than the PlayStation days. So it's just you know a little need? tidbit. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts three Hearts or the world ends with you on Wikipedia. World ends with you would be great. Well, that Square thought the iPhone needed the world ends with you, so I'm going to make that <laughs> I, the world ends with you just needs two screens. I can't really see it working well on it once. I mean, I know, I've heard it works pretty well and it's good on the iPhone, but... I haven't heard I, anything about the iPhone version. I'm just not, I, I do not care about iOS market games. I really don't either. Brian, the sequel for The World Ends With You is going to be exclusive to iOS. Uh, <laughs> it is? Because, because Square sure. hates us. Yeah, oh, come on. So is Half-Life 3, no, actually. No, it's because Square likes money, and the iOS is, like, 
yeah. arguably the most popular video game platform there is. Which is kind of sad. Yeah. But... Yeah, it is very sad, but it's I wouldn't the call truth. it a video game platform. That's because but the games are so cheap there. It... Um, because like every everybody has an iPhone. Exactly. Matthew, it's ubiquitous. Matthew, I'm... No. Matthew, I'm kind of curious about your opinion on this, but how do you feel about Rhythm Thief on iOS? I paid thirty dollars for a great game, and now it's free. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave you the finger. <laughs> People should be more upset about this than Bayonetta Two being Wii U exclusive. <laughs> well, Bayonetta Two is a blockbuster. As great as I'm sure Rhythm Thief is, it's not exactly a heavy hitter in terms of sales. It's done awfully yeah. in skips. Um, you guys, back to Wii U though, you know what I think would be incredible on the gamepad? Have any of you ever heard of a PS3 game called 3D Dot Game Heroes? Oh, oh god, yeah, no. I played that, that was fun. I think that would be perfect for the Wii U, especially because of the way you customize your character. Um, like, I made a full 3D model of Link in that, based on his NES sprites from the very first Legend of Zelda, and it, it looks great, and I play as, I just play as Link in this world. But um, the character editor on the PS3 took forever, because just going with all the buttons, it was just awful and so tedious, but GamePad would work it perfectly. And it's not even a question of exclusivity, because it was published by Atlas, and Atlas has no problem with Nintendo. So I think I'm really hoping I'm crossing my fingers for some sort of port or sequel or something for that. Well, like also building off that customization idea, there's a ton of MMOs out there, Activision Blizzard. Yeah, that would like work that. great with the gamepad. And I think that would also work really well yeah. with, Wii U with the gamepad. Completely agreed. Yeah. Um, Diablo, Diablo three on the Diablo Wii. just tap tap tap. Custom tap, tap, Robo tap, 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 too. That's not an MMO, but it's. I yeah, I know. You know, but custom it Robo. <laughs> it could work well. A lot of a lot of Blizzard games would work well. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I actually would love to see another ver another game uh, is Excite Truck. It was it was surprisingly underrated Ooh. for being a first party Wii launch title, and it was very good. It wasn't you know something worth huge amounts of money being poured into every year, but it was a really fun game, and I'd like to see a sequel. And it was photorealistic too, which is perfect, perfectly suited for the Wii. Yeah, Wii U. That game. Yeah. I don't think I I want a Kid Icarus on Wii U. Kid Icarus on Wii U would be great. It wouldn't be done by Sakurai, but I really could not care less. I think what I Uprising. I think Sakurai did a great job with we Kid Icarus really Uprising. We just really need to be able to play our 3DS games on Wii U. Yeah. Like the, they had the yeah. Super Game Boy for Super Nintendo, and they had the Game Boy Player for GameCube. There's a NES got nothing, N64 got nothing, Wii got nothing, Wii U comes along, and now is the time to do another, it's the odd generation thing, it's the even numbered uh, Nintendo console, so why not? Um, I do like the even numbered ones a lot more. You see, um, <laughs> the problem with this is that it's a big different story between playing a low resolution 3G yeah, game. Yeah, it's, yeah. And it's gonna look really bad on a you. High resolution sprite game on a big TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Yoshi's Story, actually, we haven't seen a, good, a, a new Yoshi game in a long time. I think Yoshi's Story would be. Oh, Yoshi's Story too. That I think would be look great on Wii U. Or I, Yoshi's really Island. Thinking. Just, Yoshi's you know, Island not so much, because um, but yeah, Yoshi series in yeah. general. I think I think that the storybook format works for Wii U better than um, than Yoshi's Island's like map system. Because uh, Yoshi's uh, Island the original was on the Super Nintendo, and that was in t that was two D. And Yoshi's Island DS also two D. Yoshi's Story though, it was built for Nintendo sixty four, which handles three D graphics, and it did three D really well with the storybook and the way the enemies and everything were designed. And I think a sequel for Wii U would be great. I think if they did it for... I think Yoshi's Island, um, a 2D art style could work great on Wii U, but I, in general, I think the way both games are built in, pro, in contrast to one, to one another, I think Yoshi's Story is a better choice. I don't care for Yoshi's Story. Get out. That's good, that's good, Brian. Uh, <laughs> I, I've played Yoshi games 
before. I just can't get into it. I, I can see that. I didn't. I couldn't really get too into Yoshi's Island DS very much, but I loved the original I'm Yoshi's not really a platform Yoshi story. Guy, I, I liked. So. At least not 2D platformer. What I what I really liked about the Yoshi platformers, um, as opposed to you know a generic, not even generic necessarily, but like Mario or Sonic or anything like that, is that you could just launch exit things all the way across the screen. It was it was really cool and it, it's a, something that no other platformer has really done everything else is always involved like jumping or speed or punching things but Yoshi throws things at people that was just cool the only thing I've ever seen in a 2D platformer kinda 2D that has you aim is Kirby 64 with the flaming arrow oh that was really cool but yeah Kirby like 64 speaking of Kirby uh <laughs> You know, they had returned to, D to Dreamland on Wii, and I was disappointed that you couldn't um, combine powers again. I think if they made a that new Kirby like game... That should be a staple for it the It should. Now. If, they have, if they make a new Kirby game on Wii U, they've got to bring that back. I don't know that why they didn't, and it was great. So what, the combining powers? Yeah. yeah, that was great. Yeah. Especially when you double the power by its own power. Yeah. Like you would get the fireball and, and the giant fire. fireball was awesome. It's great. I really liked the lightsabers too. That was really cool. But you know, I'm not particularly excited to get it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they did it in the same vein as. <laughs> it's um, cutting you out, dude. It, it is. It's like it's, someone's masturbating again. It's not even disconnected. <laughs> I can assure you that I am not doing something of that nature, kind of. Well, on a completely different note, how about Pokemon Snap 2? Pokemon Snap 2. Oh, no. God, yeah. I just, Absolutely I just wrote not. this article. What? God, well, yes. Not, not as, like, a retail product, but, like, as an eShop game, that'd be pretty fun. I'm sorry. Everyone says Pokemon Snap is this great, innovative, flawless game, and I just didn't like it. It was on rails photography. It just wasn't fun. But it Pokemon. Okay, well, you can but leave. Isn't the rest of us can talk about how great it is. is when you're on a train or a boat, you're going forward, and all you can do is really take pictures. You can't go back wondering what could have been on your camera. Except you can replay the levels, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can go you on the same trip the twice, camera. too. <laughs> um, but anyway, Pokemon Snap 2, I think that, uh, like I said in this, this article that I just wrote yesterday, it could be great with the uh, gyro controls, of course, optionally. Um, but anything really where you aim, like, the gyro control thing on Wii U is great, because it could work exactly like, a, again, of course, only if it's optional. The camera. Because it could work exactly like it did with Ocarina of Time 3D, but it, one, which was fantastic when you're sitting at home, but I often would yeah. play Ocarina of Time 3D in the car, and, it wasn't and, fun so, the, in and car. so moving and turning in the car, it would just assume that you're moving with the gyroscope. Now, obviously, you're not going to be playing a Wii U in a car, so it would work a lot better. I didn't like the Ocarina of Time 3D gyroscope, though, when aiming. Like no, I didn't like that either. Really? It was like fun the... when you were, like, sitting in an office chair. Yeah, exactly. Like, I enjoyed it then. You know the forest temple part where you have to shoot through the fire to melt the yeah. switch? Like, the gyroscope would throw me off so much during that part, I would have to re-aim. Well, that's like why you can just turn the gyroscope on. But you can turn off the gyroscope. That's the whole point you... of it being optional. I didn't know you could turn it off. I tried to find a place <laughs> to turn it off, and you, it you never just, turned off. You just press start. <laughs> yeah. You hit the I options icon, gyroscope off. Oh my god, I never saw the options <laughs> Oh my <icon>. god. <laughs> um, and, and are you yeah, just learning this today? <laughs> yes, I am. Hey, it could be worse. My friend didn't know you could crank up the 3D in Resident Evil Revelations. Oh. To where it looks so good. You remember how you could crank it up? I didn't like, play Like, you go into the options, and then you can change it. The 3D Revelations, from actually. To strong to very strong. I, I thought that the game yeah. released a week. Oh, yeah, in the demo, I remember that. I didn't get the game. I never got the game either. I the thought the game fun. released um, a week after it really did. And I went in and I wanted to get one of those game, one of those copies that had the typo in a box. And yeah. I specifically asked at GameStop, I, I specifically asked, 
do you have any copies left with the typo? And he goes, oh no, those all sold out like the first day. And I was just so disappointed and I said, okay, well, I, I don't want it anymore. And he was like, really? You just came to get the typo box? And I was like, yeah. You should have bought it. It's a good game. I didn't have I didn't have forty dollars to spend and then not resell several hundred years later as a collectible because I'm going to live several hundred years. If you guys didn't know that, find it on eBay. Yeah, I'm sure I can. You know, though, what I was trying to say when it when my mic cut out was um, I wouldn't be surprised if they. I'm not like particularly itching for this, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did it in the same vein as the new Play Control series that they did for the Wii, but is an HD. Um, remaster series um, for yeah. GameCube and Wii games. Um, they're going to have GameCube yeah. games on the eShop as hopefully everyone knows by now, um, but their eShop is a different topic. I can complain about that forever. You're cutting out. Oh, oh well, damn yeah. it. My, my Skype hates this topic, I guess. Well, whatever. I'm going to say it. Oh, God. Nate's wondering why no one's posting today. Um, well... Because... We're doing podcast. a podcast, Nate. Yeah. Someone needs to explain. It's Wait, not going to yeah, be me. I'm, 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 doing, I'm doing that right now. Okay, well, Good. okay. Solid answer, final question. Are you going to buy the Wii U at launch? Yes. yes. I pre-ordered already pre-ordered it. Pre-ordered it. I actually put a full nope. price pre-order down. Just walk into GameStop Why not? and show them my power-up card and get it for free. Well, frankly, the only game that I actually want to get for it is Pikmin 3. Yeah, and that's not even coming out at launch day. Yeah, that's, that's not a launch title. I don't think. It was oh, confirmed no. to be a launch title. But no, it's I don't not. Launch, just launch, it's not going to be a launch title. It's confirmed not game. to be a launch title. It's not coming That's out launch day. It's launch window, which means it comes comes out, right? come out even yep. late yeah. March. Don't, don't, don't kill me. I, I've never played the first Bayonetta. It's good. It's okay, it's okay it's Matthew. Hard, I haven't either. But it's good. It's like Bayonetta... I mean, no, wait, never mind. We'll it's like that. Bayonetta, but different. <laughs> but another but one. With Bayonetta. <laughs> but Crazy, right? But it's like two. It. I don't know. That will attract the hardcore. Okay. Yeah. Can we do a quick, what, what, no. what are we playing real quick? Sure. Or... like an hour and 20 minutes. No. Yes. <laughs> no, it'll take like two minutes, guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone playing, guys? Yeah, what are you playing? Oh, you know, I'm playing Digital Devil Saga and Tales of Graces F with Persona 4 Arena. Okay. I am currently playing nothing, which is very sad. School is yeah. evil with two essays and problem sets and lots and lots of history homework. Oh, come on. I have finals next week. This School just started week. up for me again, too, and that's eating up a lot of my time. Yeah, but, okay, you have finals uh, next week. Have you been working, studying? What? Huh? He's been playing been video studying. games. Studying. Yeah, for go finals? study, Brian. Go study, I don't Brian. I not study for finals. That's why you have... <laughs> that's why you <laughs> have... Why what? Your board is broken week. now. I, I actually do my work. I finals, and I passed with A. Uh, but anyway, I, I really you? want to be playing Majora's Mask right now, because shamefully, I've never actually done that. I got to um, the Swamp Temple, right, uh, and then school started, and I just haven't been able to boot it up since then, because um, I've been writing and and homework and stuff. Yeah. Um, this is why you have to procrastinate, dude. Yeah, but I procrastinate by pretending that. that I'm being productive, and not just actually yeah, procrastinating. My procrastination is more. like, oh, I'm gonna have my books out and then be on the internet instead, instead of just fully embracing <laughs> procrastination by just going See, off and playing video games. I could have procrastinated on this. You, you did already procrastinate are. on this. I woke we started an up. hour late because of I you. woke up just as you guys started. Yeah. So I, I'm working my way through Xenoblade slowly but surely. Uh, it's pretty fun. I don't even know the ending, but it's fun. And, yeah, I, I got Bowser's Inside Story loaned to me from a oh, friend. Oh, nice, that's, that's a good fun. one. So, yeah. I, I uh, uh, Man Origins before Legends comes out, so that's what I'm at. I'm trying to uh, get through Fortune Street, which, by the way, if anyone's listening and you haven't seen the ZI Recommends article, get You're Fortune Street now. It's amazing. I'm just playing Rhythm Beef. 
Yeah, it's not fun, is it? Okay, I'll probably get it on iOS because... Have fun with like... 10% of the content. It's free! Is it really free? Yeah, but it's gonna be cheaper than the 3DS version when I buy all the content, so... It's free, it's free to play. They cut out some parts. Poor Matt. Yeah. Sega pretty much asked you if you wanted a free game, and you said you put thirty dollars down. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. Why did they do this to me? We know your pain. I don't know your pain. Okay, we I don't. I know your pain. No, no, we don't actually. No, because no, no one here we has rhythm. Guys. <laughs> Probably no one in America has rhythm beef except for you. <laughs> no one in America. <laughs> America! But, yeah, just no one has it. You <laughs> so suck! Oh, I think we interrupted mass masturbation session. <laughs> Aww. So that's where the sound is coming from. <laughs> are we, go are we going no. out with Gangnam Style 8 bit? Opa Gangnam well, Style! Why not? Opa Gangnam Style! Hey, sexy lady! <laughs> we'll have to wait for well. part two. Yeah, yeah it's gonna, part two we'll have we're to gonna, talk gonna, about we're gonna, we're gonna our experiences with the Wii U. Yeah, that, that'll be in like two months, except three yeah. months, because we prefer I'm getting a launch day, and I don't care if I have things yeah. due on Monday. Screw teachers. Wii U is so much more important. <laughs> yeah. Screw real life. Well, I'll probably, playing do, I'll probably do what I did with Pokemon Black and White and just get it all out of the way on Saturday. Oh. Actually end up being responsible again. Speaking of actually a black and white, that weekend I wrote an entire research paper on the Saturday before they came out just so that I could spend the whole next day playing black and white and not worrying about a research paper. How about black and white too? Just real quick. Oh, that looks that looks okay. I'm probably not going to get a launch day. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm less out. interested in Pokemon. I'm going to go pre-order it tomorrow when I'm going to go to get I don't. Kirby. 20 yeah, I'm, I'm getting Kirby on Monday. I don't look. I, I I don't like the newer Pokemon games as much as I liked the old ones. I'll probably get them eventually, um, but probably not release day. I don't um, like a lot of the yeah. aesthetics of black and white too. I don't. I, out of I just don't like the character like the way it looks or the way it sounds. The gameplay is as fun as ever, and the story is a lot of all the champions. Really good, but I just don't like the way everything looks. That's really all there is to it. I don't think that the new designs of anything are interesting. Well, and also, I, I think it should have been a 3DS game. I think so, too. I totally agree. I think Definitely. everyone... Actually, only the people who have the 3DS but, want it to be a 3DS game. Everyone else but making it will a 3DS hate game. if it was a 3DS game because they don't have it. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, that's what WayForward did with the Adventure Time game. People were upset it was going to be on DS, so they just made a separate 3DS version with 3D visuals, but they're the same game. Well, but... Except the 3DS one is the limited edition. Also, that's what sells systems, you guys. People would be mad yeah. if they don't have a 3DS to play Black and White 2, and so then all the little kids who are really excited Every, for Pokemon would say, yeah. Mommy, Mommy, buy no, me a 3DS no, no, for no Christmas. Colonies. People, people that's yeah. how systems were going to sold. boycott and Black and White the 3DS, 2 was on 3DS if it didn't come out for it. Like how they're doing with Bayonetta 2 right now. Okay, but a lot more people <laughs> would buy Except a 3DS. Those people were already get, not going to buy yeah, a Wii U, not, so it doesn't even The matter. boycott changes no, nothing. No. They weren't, they're not it's going not to buy like a 3DS really who, anyway. So what? The people who were on the fence now have a reason to get the 3DS yeah. if Black and White 2 were to come out for it. Again, that's how systems are sold. I think it would be a better system seller if it was the first game in Generation 6. So. I think so too. But still, I mean, it was a wasted opportunity. It would be an even better system seller. Screw Generation 6. Ruby and Sapphire remakes would fly off the shelves. Yes, they would. That's what would have. Where where are those? I don't I know. But they're they're coming. I'm sh there's no way that they're not. And hopefully they won't be DS games. Hopefully Nintendo realizes that by the time those come out, Watch it, nobody Colin. will care. They're gonna reveal the Ruby and Sapphire remakes DS tomorrow to be DS exclusives. <laughs> nah. Nah. Remake <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire remakes are going to be you announced. You thought Nintendo could be I'm, I'm guessing over one year more. from now. Released two, maybe two or three years from now. And it's probably going to be, be 3DS exclusive yeah. if it comes that way. There's no way it would come four years after the, um, the DS's end. 
It's been, Hasn't there been, it's like been, a, it's been a year Pokemon and a half since, since One since Pokemon DS game from Game Freak a year thing going on lately? Uh, no, Black and White came out two years ago, and Black and White 2 is coming out this year. And then Ruby Sapphire remakes like are probably going to come out ago. two years from now. Last year, and, um, what, no, what, Black what and White came years? out... No, months. Black and White 2 came out two years ago. Black and White original came, came out, out March of my freshman year. Yeah, yeah, that one school. 3DS game. Rumble and Blast. Now it's, now it's September oh, yeah, of my junior was. year in high school. It's so Yeah, so Rumble Blast bad. is what you're thinking of. That's not a Pokemon game. It really isn't. It's not a Pokemon <laughs> game, even though it clearly has Pokemon on the cover. They're not supposed to know. What do you guys think about Fire Emblem The CDI Awakening? and Zelda games aren't Zelda games. <laughs> That's true. Nintendo 3DS CDI. I, I, I would buy those. Right. I would buy 3DS right. remakes. <laughs> My boy in 3D. My boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> if they had a collection, a, re a retail collection of all three games, I would buy that. <laughs> Even if they're terrible, I would just buy them. A lot of people would. That's, I, I have a copy of Where's Waldo <laughs> for NES. In gold. <laughs> how bad it is. A physical copy. I actually have that a physical would sell. copy of it really would. Zero, too. If you would buy a golden turd? Alright, so, well, we hope you enjoyed for this three, session yes. of Zelda Informer's Existential Gaming Roundtable. This has been... So existential. Yeah. Go. But that's where you go. Then what? Say names. Say your names. <laughs> what? It's been. Oh. Oh! That, yeah, I had no idea what you were doing. I thought you were gonna say, like, this has been fun. <laughs> this has been Colin. And other people who are clearly. Should we just go like your name in order? What? Who cares? Jackson. Jared. Colin. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Brian again. Wait, before we go, Brian, you're fired. Yeah, oh, get no. Out of <laughs> well, guess what? I hire myself back because I outrank all And of Matthew, signing off. You Hope don't. you enjoy. Yeah. Blah. Hope you tune in to Don't next worry. Time. We'll be back. You're fired. fired. Hope you tune into next okay. month's show. Goodbye, this has everybody. been a disaster. Woo. Next month's podcast, this was so bad. <laughs> 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 Hopefully it was okay. entertaining at least. <laughs> this is like 90 minutes. Oh All right. Jesus. Uh -huh. Okay. Goodbye right. everybody. Bye bye.